Well, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, what a gorgeous day here it is today at Kennedy Space Center's multi-user spaceport. And I want to thank all of you for coming out here today to help us welcome the Crew-3 uh, here to the uh, Kennedy um, Space Center. You know, the teams have put in a lot of long hours and a lot of hard work to get to this point, both NASA and SpaceX, and we're super excited to have you guys here and really looking forward to uh, the upcoming launch uh, this weekend. Um, I'm going to turn it over now. Let me introduce somebody who really needs no introduction. Uh, he's a former center director here at the Kennedy Space Center, member of the Astronaut Hall of Fame, veteran of four space shuttle flights, and he actually was a member of the uh, crew that uh, put the first assembly mission together for the International Space Station. So with that, my hero, Bob <laughs> Cabana. <laughs> Thanks, Janet. Hey, it's uh, great to be home in Florida, but it's really great to have uh, Crew 3 here. Welcome, guys. This is awesome. You know, the FRR went really well. Got a few issues to work, some standard open work to get done, but uh, everything's tracking toward uh, launch very, very early on uh, Sunday morning. Uh, the work that we do together with SpaceX is absolutely amazing. The team has just been extremely responsive to everything, and uh, we got a good vehicle for you guys. It was uh, great sitting through that FRR yesterday. You know, it's really important that we establish a commercial economy in low Earth orbit so we can focus on uh, moving on, that next step, getting to the moon and beyond, going eventually on to Mars. And I'm telling you, uh, I got to see the uh, SLS stacked up with Orion on top and the VAB, and I can't wait for that launch to come too. But before we do that, we got to continue to work on everything that we need to know up on the space station, and we got the right crew to do it. So welcome, guys. It's a real pleasure having you here, and it's great to be home. With that, I want to turn it over to Frank Davini, the uh, head of uh, ISS for uh, ESA. Frank? Thank you, Bob. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, Crew 3 here uh, to Kennedy Space Center. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank our uh, NASA partners and uh, also SpaceX uh, for uh, getting the rocket ready. As uh, Bob said, uh, we had a very good uh, FRR uh, yesterday, some open work, but I'm uh, confident that uh, the teams uh, will get there. And we are looking forward to get uh, Crew 3 uh, with, of course, from uh, European Space Agency, uh, Matthias, uh, on orbit. We currently have uh, Thomas Pesquet on orbit, uh, the first uh, European that uh, flew uh, on a Cra Dragon uh, SpaceX uh, crew vehicle. And uh, after Matthias, we will also have uh, Samantha flying uh, to orbit. So it's kind of a first for uh, the European Space Agency to have uh, three astronauts in a row and uh, be permanently on, on the space station. And uh, as we also mentioned yesterday at the FRR, this is kind of the golden age uh, with uh, the, the capabilities that uh, USCV is giving us to have uh, four USOS astronauts on orbit, plenty of crew time, plenty of science uh, that we can do. Uh, and we also had uh, the uh, MLM that was launched uh, just uh, a couple of months ago, to, uh, three, four months ago, I would say, uh, with the European robotic arm. So that's also a highlight that uh, Matthias will work on the European robotic arm, a new piece of uh, technology that is uh, flying from, from the ESA side uh, out to the International Space Station. So again, very happy to be here, and uh, congratulations, Guy, and looking forward to a successful launch on uh, Sunday. Thank you very much, uh, Frank. And now, without further ado, let me turn it over to the crew. Uh, let me start with uh, the commander, Rasha Chari. Thanks, uh, thanks, Janet, Bob, and Frank. Uh, we are super excited to be here at Kennedy. Uh, the last time we were here was our you know, final dress and training trip, and actually I'm here with the vehicle is pretty special. Um, having an Air Force background, this is typically the time in the Air Force we call stepping to the jet. So it's you're done with the briefing, you're done with the training, and now you actually are stepping out to the aircraft, in this case a spacecraft, and actually putting uh, feet and boots on the ground at the place where the vehicle's at. So we couldn't be happier to be here. Uh, I got to see the pad flying in, which is amazing. Uh, and, and thanks, as uh, they, they all alluded to, the last few days have been full of reviews, and so uh, we've had the benefit of getting to focus on training while our leadership teams have been making tough decisions and getting the vehicle ready and going through all the, the various closing of work and risks and everything to make it safe for us to fly, so we very much appreciate that. And uh, we're ready to go and couldn't be happier about being here. 
I'll turn it over to, uh, to Tom Marshburn. This will be his uh, third vehicle to fly in, which is pretty cool. So he's flown shuttle Soyuz, and now gets the pleasure to, to be our mentor here on the Crew Dragon and ready to go with us on endurance. So over to Tom. Thank you, Raja. Uh, we're absolutely thrilled to be here, as you can imagine, uh, and quite humbled by seeing over the last uh, year and a half to two years the millions of human hours that go into getting us ready, getting the vehicle ready, all for this one moment coming up for a launch. Uh, we, we couldn't be more excited and more ready to go, and we are ready to uh, be your next shift of deckhands on the mighty spaceship of the International Space Station. So thanks, it's great to be here, and now uh, Caleb Barron. Hi everybody, we're really excited to hit the deck here at KSC. I think for all of us, especially the rookies on the flight, it still feels a little surreal, like we don't really believe that we're actually going to space here, hopefully on the early hours of Sunday morning. Um, so I think coming to Kennedy Space Center, space flight, you never feel closer to it than you, you do when you feel here when you're here at KSC where we're doing so many amazing things and entering this new era of commercial partnerships, sending more human beings into space. Um, and it's actually a really cool time for reflection too, both on our personal journeys, all of the amazing people who have helped us get to this point, but also the history of the incredible things we're doing on um, here at NASA. Like Tom said, we're really excited to join the crew for Expedition 66 aboard the space station. Um, and I was trading emails with Ken Reitler, a former astronaut who's a mentor of mine, early earlier this week, and he told me that uh, he was there in Russia for the launch of the Expedition 1 crew on Halloween. And so we have a Halloween launch too here if we launch on time. So we're really excited to join that incredible legacy and our friends up there on the space station. And I'd like to introduce Matthias Maurer. Thank you very much. It's uh, very exciting having the very first space flight ahead, flying to space, being part of such an incredible team. My crewmates are outstanding, and I'm really looking forward to having a great time in space, meeting my colleague Thomas Pesquet and, and the crew too up there in space, the Russian colleagues, also uh, our Japanese colleague. We'll do plenty of science up there. It's the focus of our work, what we're doing. And uh, we will also report what we're doing in space because we want to bring everyone along being part of that mission. A word of thanks to all the teams that prepared us. Looking back one and a half years when the three of us or the four of us um, started training, it was the beginning or actually the, the very first phase of the pandemic and Corona. Um, it struck the entire world, but actually the, word, the, the, the people that organized the training and um, organized our spaceship and uh, organized also like everything that is uh, that, that makes it happen that we can fly to space now they all make it so seem so easy for us so um, the, the entire world was affected but we were able to train prepare ourselves and now we are actually looking forward to implement what we're trained for so uh, a huge words of thanks to everyone who made this possible thank you <laughs> 